Question number three, cybersecurity. It's a buzzword, it's, it's top of mind. We see breaches every day coming out, but what does cybersecurity as a top concern mean to you? Um, well, in reality, cybersecurity was always, uh, has always been around right from the moment that businesses started digitizing themselves, and I'm, I'm talking about the 80s and the 90s. Um, but the increased awareness about security stems from the fact that cybercrime is on the rise, and um, organizations can only compete to provide relatively better security solutions and, and not absolute security, something that everybody is searching for. Um, but I do wholly agree with it. If, um, if a business is a vehicle, risk management is its wheels, right? And, and the fact that with any cyber attack comes the risk of business interruption and um, damage to brand or reputation, um, along with the potential of a data breach, which can cost the business a lot of money, uh, makes it scary. And this fear, coupled with the fact that cybersecurity um, is still a puzzle that the industry is trying to solve makes it a top concern across all businesses. Perfect, insightful. I am curious mm -hmm. as a side question, cybersecurity tends to interrupt business practices if you're doing security at the highest of levels, right? Yep. So how can that be, I guess the better way to put it is how can cybersecurity be used to not interrupt the business, but still maintain security? That's an interesting question. And I would say that is uh, that is a piece of puzzle that many people are trying to solve, right? Uh, I think that um, uh, trying to address any kind of risk, be it cybersecurity or non-cybersecurity, is always going to come in the way of business, right? And um, the only way you can um, tactfully tackle that is if you if you try to um, a separate your priorities um, and b uh, you try to have a, a balanced risk management program right uh, built around security so if you have a lot of customers who um, who you think you need to be in compliance with a lot of laws for them to provide services to them, that, that, that goes into priority one. Uh, and if, if that is interrupting with your business, um, instead of uh, accepting all the risks, it's always good to, to fix them so that you can get the, the certification that you want that um, I am, uh, I'm compliant, you can, you can do business with me. Um, but if uh, there is a, a lot of risks that are in the same line and, and cybersecurity is one of them, then like I said, you need to prioritize depending on, on how many resources you have and, and uh, what the business is willing to risk at this point. So um, risk acceptance for, uh, for, for low level cybersec risks uh, would, be, um, would be essential. But when you accept the risk, you, you should know what comes with it. Nice. See, I put you on the spot and you had a great answer. So that's awesome. Thank you.